Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is gonna be a little bit different. Very chilled. We're outdoors in my garden. So the sound might be bad. The lighting might go crazy because it is really sunny right now and I'm kind of regretting my decision already. Today, I am gonna be doing the quick fire assumptions challenge, which is answering your assumptions in 10 minutes unedited which I'm a little bit nervous about, I'm not gonna lie, because I rely a lot on my editing when it comes to like comic timing and also just not saying things I'm gonna regret saying. This could be interesting. I have a lovely assistant to my left, Tim. He is currently picking the questions he's gonna ask. So I have no idea what he's about to ask me. He has chosen all of the questions. Um, so if I say something stupid, let's all just blame Tim. <laughs> I've got a white wine spritzer on a Thursday lunchtime because I feel like I'm gonna need it. And without further ado, let's answer your assumptions. And I'm sorry if, if the wind is really loud. Okay, I'm nervous, Let, let's do this. I think Tim's excited to watch me squirm. <laughs> I think this is gonna be really difficult for me. 10 minutes isn't a very long time. <sighs> so I'm probably gonna buzz out loud, is that all right? Yeah, that, that's okay. fine. Ready? Mm -hmm. Three, two, one. Unedited, go. You change your voice when you're vlogging. <laughs> um, people ask me this all the time. I think I used to more. When I watch my old videos, I'm like, I'm speaking in this really high pitched voice, but I don't consciously do it. I think it is just me trying to sound more interesting, <laughs> but um, I, don't, I don't mean to. I feel like a lot of the time I do talk the same. I think sometimes I do have like a, a vlog voice but it's not that different to my normal voice would you agree yeah sometimes it's just different. sometimes it's just yeah i i feel like it's because i'm thinking about what i'm saying mm. i don't know <laughs> okay you were popular in school i was i had a lot of friends at school i was definitely like i wouldn't say that if we were talking about like mean girls i'd be regina george but i was I had a lot of friends and I was very lucky to be surrounded by people who loved me very much. I'm sure there are people who didn't like me at school, but I don't know and don't care particularly. Um, but I wouldn't say that I was like popular, but I had a lot of friends. You don't want children. I don't want children right now. Hell no, worst nightmare. But <sighs> I've never really wanted kids, no. But that could change. I'm not, I'm not saying never, but I don't want children currently. You will live in England your whole life. Um, I'd love to live somewhere abroad for a couple of years, but it's not on the cards right now, but maybe. Uh, so false, I may not live in England for the rest of my life. You don't eat anything unhealthy at all. <laughs> at all, false. I'm currently drinking wine and I ate three cinnamon rolls yesterday. So that is false. I eat whatever I want. I just eat everything in moderation. You are bisexual. I wouldn't say I'm completely straight. Um, so I guess, yes, I'm on the spectrum of sexuality. I'm on the LGBTQ plus spectrum. You wish you'd gone to university? No, I don't wish I went to university. I feel like I got the best of both worlds. I got to experience the culture of uni um, through Tim, but I didn't have to do the work or pay the money. You don't really want Tim to move in with you yet. Yeah, I hate him. <laughs> nah, I, I, I've actually, it's more on the other side. I've wanted Tim to move in for a long time. Um, I think it's going to be an adjustment because I do love my own space and my own time. But I feel like quarantine has been a really great test to that. And like, we've really figured out the balance. And I, now more than ever, I'm excited for him to move in. You wear the trousers in your relationship. Right. I'd say when we first got together, 100% yes. But now that we have been together nearly five years, I'd say it's definitely more of a 50-50. We've kind of grown into a more balanced relationship. You low-key prefer coffee to tea, but you have to commit to the lie because of your mugs. <laughs> Mugs can hold both tea and coffee, so no. Um, no, I still prefer tea, but then uh, that first coffee, first thing in the morning, just 
really hits a spot that the 30 T's throughout the day doesn't. <laughs> Tim is your first and only boyfriend. True, yeah. We got together when we were 19, but we kind of dated when we were younger, and yeah, nah, uh, I've dabbled, but none of them are a boyfriend. None of, none of them are worthy or count. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> uh, you hate working from home. I love working from home. I love it. I'm very lucky to be able to do it. Um, and yeah, no, I really love my own time and being my own boss. You want Tim to propose? No. <laughs> I love Tim very much, but I'm not, I'm not there, man. I'm not there. Where's my plan for the evening? <laughs> was that tonight's plan? Oh, yeah. this video. Oh, oh, was that the last question? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh my god, the worst like proposal video ever. Mm. That would be awful. I keep forgetting this is that editing as well. Oh god. <laughs> you don't believe in astrology. I actually I um I do in some way. I feel like some of my friends watching might take the piss out of me for it, but I think that I'm not religious at all and I but I think that there is some sort of there has to be some kind of mechanism at work to make everything happen and make the cogs turn. And why can't, you know, the stars, the planet, the world, the sun, the moon be that thing? You know, if the moon controls the waves, why can't it control, you know, our ebbs and flows? So, yeah, no, I do. You struggle with mental health slash depression. True. My mental health is all over the shop quite a lot of the time. I think in my later years, I've definitely got more of a hold on it. But throughout my life, I've definitely struggled with my mental health and I've definitely had bouts of depression, yeah. YouTube is getting too stressful. Um, false. I think I've had periods of time where YouTube has definitely been more stressful than it is for me now. At the moment, I feel quite content and I found a rhythm that I'm really enjoying. Um, but at times I have found YouTube quite stressful when I feel like I have something to prove or I feel like a hamster in a wheel, like I constantly need to be doing something new. Whereas at the moment, I'm really enjoying what I'm doing. So no, I don't find it stressful at the moment. I'm really enjoying it. You are as confident off camera as on camera. I'd say that's true. I'm a really confident person most of the time. I have my moments like where I don't even want to go and talk to someone in a shop and I get Tim to go and order for me. But that, that just, that hits me randomly. I think in general, I am, you know, pretty damn confident in myself. Tim? Sorry, I've actually, I've, I've written them all down, but I've run out. You've been smashing through them so I run out of questions I'm kind of reading them as I go oh god Tim's got to go off the cuff yeah. that's never a good thing <laughs> Tim likes a plan I can see his cogs turning in his head <laughs> uh, you and Soph aren't actually that close anymore oh that's false I adore Soph and Soph adores me um, we don't see each other that often anymore because we are both very busy and currently self-isolating in our own homes but um, the love is still exactly the same. I absolutely adore Soph. Sorry. It's fine. I'll have a swig. Cheers, everyone. Tim left his job and works for you. Ha, I wish. No, Tim works full time, um, but he just works from my house now. But no, he doesn't work for me. Not officially, anyway. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Never off the clock. Always actually. working, aren't you two? You got top grades in school. No, I, I did well in school. I think I did, you know, average to well, but I didn't get top grades. I got a few A stars, but like my average was probably a high B, A, low A. Let's catch some sun while I'm there. <laughs> You took out a loan from your parents to pay for your flat? Yes, I did. I took out a loan from my dad. Um, like any other loan, I pay him back. Um, I get this question all the damn time. No, he didn't just give me loads of money. Um, I took out a loan with a contract and I pay him back like any other mortgage. 
We appreciate every one of your followers. I we feel do. we are all friends. Oh, we are though, aren't we? Look at us just like chilling in my garden right now. Now, I love my followers and I think that I couldn't do what I do if you guys didn't watch my videos and I appreciate you spending your time even the people who leave hate comments is putting pennies in my pocket and you know further building my channel so i appreciate all of you and i am sweating right now <laughs> do you want me to elaborate him <laughs> sorry i'm really sorry i'm getting the, there's so many of the same questions Do, 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 do. do people treat you differently now that you've lost weight? No. Because I've surrounded myself with people throughout my whole life that love me for me and not for how I look. So the people who I spend my most, most of my time with and who I speak to on a day-to-day -day basis treat me no differently because to them I am no different. And the way that I look ch doesn't change really anything about me. But people who I meet who have never met me before, I do get a, especially like, I don't know, boys in clubs and gross things like that, they're, they're, they do treat me a little bit differently, but I don't care. Um, the people who matter don't. And we are at time, but I was a bit delayed, so maybe I'll ask one more. Go on, one more question. Up. You've found yourself in the past year Mm. Mm -hmm. I think I have I think I've never you never really find yourself do you you definitely I think you're constantly finding yourself and that's kind of the whole point of life I think the whole point of life is that you never actually find yourself and that you're constantly evolving and you're constantly changing and I guess maybe though that evolution is you having found yourself the fact that you're accepting the fact that you always change I don't know bigger questions than me but um, I think I've I've come to terms with myself and I'm the happiest with myself that I've ever been from the past year and like the changes I've made to my life in the past year yeah is that everything I think so oh wow that was fun that wasn't stress I was really afraid that was going to be stressful <laughs> <laughs> but that was actually really nice I enjoyed that cool that was ten, 10 minutes of me uncut, unedited, guys. So if you don't like me, uncut and unedited, then tough. Thank you, Timmy, for That's asking right. me those questions and taking your lunch break to help me. Always no, on the clock. No worries. Great. Cool. Thank you. Sorry if it's been really bright and the lighting's not been the most attractive. I thought it would be nice to film in the garden. But I now regret it. I'm not going to lie because I'm sweating my fake tan off. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're new, make sure you subscribe. If you enjoyed this, give it a thumbs up. Let me know if you'd like to see another one of these. Um, yeah, have the best day. And I will see you guys on Sunday for the weekly vlog. Bye. Bye. Bye.